You are listening to The Walking Leader Podcast, episode number 247. Hello, I'm your host, David Guerra, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Leader Podcast. The Walking Leader Podcast is for you, current and future leaders, to help give you the tools to help you succeed as a leader in your organization, as well as in your professional and personal life. The tools of the Wacking Leader focus on getting you up and out from behind your desk and out to the front lines where those you lead are in the trenches day in and day out. Now, attention all leaders. It is your responsibility to know how the battle is going, and there is no better way than to be out on the front lines where the bullets are flying. And now, without delay, let's get this episode started. In this episode of the Walking Leader Podcast, I continue to share with you our 2022 series on self-leadership and soft skills, where today we talk about the soft skill of learning. And you know what we do here. We break it all down. Let's get some definitions and let's dive right in. So first, we define self-leadership. Self-leadership is based on you, current and future leaders, taking the initiative and being proactive. A self-leader means you are intentionally influencing your thinking, your feelings, and your actions towards achieving your goals and objectives, whether they are personal or professional or both. You must take that first, second, third, and every step after that to achieve those objectives or goals. Now, soft skills. Soft skills are defined as the interpersonal attributes that that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people while performing those technical or hard skills you have learned. And learning, well, learning is defined as the act or experience of one of, of one that learns, sorry, of one that learns knowledge or skill acquired by institution or study, modification of a behavior, behavioral tendency by experience, such as exposure to conditioning. So that's learning. Again, the act of the act or experience of one that learns acquiring knowledge or skills by instruction or study and, of course, modifying your behavior. Alrighty. Now, so what are some examples of learning? Well, acquiring the knowledge to speak a new language or to be better with the one you currently know. Uh, Another example is acquiring a new skill. And of course, number the third one here is open and accepting of new ideas and or concepts you are learning. And so why do why is learning important? Because we want to grow as and improve as human beings. We have to be learning. We should always be learning to become better than what we were yesterday is key to keep is key to keep learning is to be learning. It's it's key to our success It's key to our growth as individuals. It's it's how I can't put it any other way. It's how we become better people. We're always learning and learning is about the most simple and easiest of all the skills to have and to execute. However, learning is also the one that will yield the faster and greater results. These results are varied as to what you're learning. So there we go. It's it's going to be easy, but so long as we're open to learning. And when it comes to the pros and cons of learning, I do believe the best pros, they're all pros, but sadly, well, they vary. And let's, let's look at this. Um, for example, the pro learning allows you to grow. And of course, when you're not learning, you're not growing and nor are you living. So always be learning. Learning makes you a better individual. And when you refuse, when you refuse to learn from books, others, videos, audio, you know what? You're doomed to remain stagnant. It's just that simple. Always be learning. Pro, learning will increase your level of success without a doubt. Now, the con is the increase of your situational, well, your situational awareness to learning, well, will depend on that level of success. If you just don't want to learn, you want to learn a little, just enough to get you by. Well, that's as far as you're going to get. You're just going to get by. But if you want to learn a lot, And because you're aware that, hey, if I really want to increase something, I really want to be something bigger than what I was yesterday, then I definitely have to learn more than what I'd learned yesterday. Always be learning. And again, it sets us it sets us apart from those that do not those that refuse to grow, those that refuse to expand their minds, those that refuse to achieve, those that refuse to succeed. Learning sets us apart from those individuals. And sadly, there are far too many individuals that do that. And that's that one thing. What sets one apart from another? 
what what says oh this is going to be a successful individual and this is not going to be a successful individual it's learning folks no nothing else just learning the ability to learn something the simplest thing the ability to have an open mind and accept that hey sometimes maybe i'm wrong and sometimes maybe others are right that's learning right there learning to understand that may we don't know everything we might feel like it sometimes but no we don't know everything that's how we grow we op- crack open a book we listen to other people we interact with others we exchange information and we learn from one another and we become better but it's when we fail to grow to expand to achieve and to and ultimately we fail to succeed it's because we're not learning and it is that simple yes it's just driven down to the bare bones minimum it is that simple so when we get to the seven habits of highly effective people section here is when it comes to learning all seven habits apply you know, we need to learn to be proactive. We need to learn to say, hey, we got to take the initiative. We need to learn what's the next step. But speaking of the next steps, habit two is beginning with the end in mind. We also need to learn that, hey, what is the end? What's the end result? If we're not learning that end result, and sometimes that end result is like, well, I won up that person. No, that's not the end result sometimes. Remember, habit four is think, win, win. So to get there, we got to go to habit three. And that's putting first things first. We have to learn sometimes and relearn sometimes and relearn again and again and again how to prioritize things and how to put things in the proper order to achieve that win-win. Habit number five is seek first to understand, then to be understood. And again, how do we seek first to understand? We learn about others. We learn how they work, what they know, what they understand, where they stand on certain issues, and understand that sometimes... We have to give them the benefit of the doubt because maybe sometimes they're looking out for a better interest than we want to see because we're so close-minded, so narrow-minded. And in doing that, we we refuse to understand others. But if we can understand others first, then we're going to definitely be understood. Number six, synergize. Yeah, we need to learn work with others. We need to learn to work with others and learn to respect others' opinions, learn to respect others' viewpoints, learn to coexist, because sometimes that's all we have. And habit number seven is sharpening the saw. Yes, we need to learn how to get better. So sharpening the saw is learning, is educating ourselves, it's stepping out and getting away from one book. If that's all we focus our lives on is one book, What about all the other books? What about all the other books? They're out there for a reason. So again, sharpen that saw. So when it comes to learning, always be learning. Just like every other soft skill, we have to work at it. We have to dive into it. We have to explore it. We have to exploit it. We have to expand on it. We have to keep learning. And certainly learning as a soft skill is one that never turns off. It should never be turned off. Oh, well, I, I finished school. Oh, I, I graduated college. Oh, I, I got my technical degree. I got my certification. But you know what? What about the next certification? What about the next degree? What about the next thing? Right? What about the next thing? And if we're not looking at that next thing, what's the point? Right? So he, I'm at that point now here in, in this podcast where I get to what if learning fails? What if the failure? Well, you know what? Learning never fails. You're always learning something. It's in the process. You might stumble, fall, pick yourself back up again. But you, you know what? You learn not to stumble. You learn not to fall. And if you do stumble, you do fall. Well, guess what? You're going to fall better. You're going to stumble better. You're going to make a mistake, a make better mistakes. You See where I'm going with this? Is because we're learning, we're always growing. And the only time people stop learning is when they're dying. It's when they're gone. It's when they stop breathing. Because there's nothing left to learn. Always be learning. So what do we do about learning? How do we proceed? What 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 actions do we take when it comes to learning? Well, we're flexible. Be open minded. Know that every situation is a teachable situation. It's a learning situation. It's a learning moment. Know that just like you can share with others, and a lot of times we get to do that. You know, I start a podcast and start talking to you. And other times we need to just listen and listen to others and understand where they're coming from. Because if you fail to understand where others are coming from, you're not learning. You're not learning. 
as always, open your mouth and say, hey, explain this to me. And then close your mouth immediately after that while they're explaining it to you. That's how you learn. And this this applies not just to the young at heart, but not just young at age, but also the young at heart. There we go. It applies to everybody. It doesn't matter how old you are. Always be learning, be flexible, be open-minded, understand that every situation, every moment is a learning situation, it's a teachable moment, and be prepared to teach, be prepared to share information, but also be prepared to shut your mouth when you need to shut your mouth and listen. I know it sounds harsh, but you know, sometimes we've got to be harsh because sometimes that's the only way we understand that, hey, wait, maybe I just need to be quiet. Maybe it's, I don't need to put in my two cents every time somebody else opens their mouth. You know, maybe sometimes people, I want to hear what people have to say. They don't have to listen to me or anything. I don't even have to agree with what they're saying. So long as you're listening. So you don't have to agree with them. You just have to listen. And that's how you learn. So continue improving upon yourself by continuing to learn. Keep trying new things and new ways of learning. And of course, listen to people. That's important. That's a separate soft skill, and we'll get to that very soon. So can the skill, the soft skill of learning be mastered? It, no, learning can never be mastered. Because learning, we're always doing it. We're always moving forward. We're always breathing. We're always trying something new. And we're not like the moth to that light bulb at night. It keeps bouncing back to it, but it keeps getting burned every time it touches that light bulb. No, we learn not to touch the light bulb, right? We, we might get burned one time, but that's it. We'll never get burned again. And sometimes we learn the hard way. We get really, really burned. But there are other times that, hey, you know, and once it's enough. So it's like they say, you know, was it, um, was it hit me once, shame on you, hit me twice, shame on me. Same thing. You know, we don't, we learn not to do it. But of course, there are some people that just refuse to do that. So what do we do with them? What can we do with them? Well, again, it's a unique situation. Sometimes people will never, ever learn because it's somehow they're, they're, it's in their mind that they are right. Everybody else is wrong. They don't know what you've gone through. You don't know what they've gone through. And they just assume that because of that, because of that separation of life experience, they're that much better than you. Little do they know the other way around is the same. You haven't gone, you haven't lived their lives. So it's easy to say, it's easy to point the finger, but again, it's, it shouldn't be, but it is because there are individuals like that, that will always be that way. They'll point the fingers at others, but never look at themselves, realizing that, hey, they've got a lot to learn still. It's not given to us. We have to earn it every single day. Well, folks, what do you think? What do you think of what I just talked about here in episode 247 on the soft skill of learning? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, reach out to me, Dave at Dave Guerra on Twitter at Dave Guerra, all one word. And I look forward to hearing from you there. Or you can leave me a voice message on the Walking Leader hotline at 956-720-0060. Again, that's 956-720-0060. And of course, you can always drop me an email at Dave at Dave com. I really want to hear from you. Listen, I want to thank you for the time you took today to listen to this episode and make it all the way to this point. Folks, I am David Guerra, author of the books, The Walking Leader and Great to Follow. I invite you to subscribe to The Walking Leader podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Spreaker and Stitcher. And of course, you can find all those links on the DaveGuerra.com website. Oops, excuse me. And uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, lastly, I want to remind everyone. To always go beyond the grind and go beyond the hustle because that is the only way to be the walking leader and a leader that is truly great to follow. Until next time, I thank you. The Walking Leader Podcast is a David Gerrard presentation.